Imagine, and it says above us only skies as beautiful as me. And all the baggage handlers were kicking off saying, We want a slogan, we want a slogan. So they got one as well from the same song. Imagine no possessions. <laughs> I like it when you go in, no, when you go in and you do, I'll, I'll do this when you go, you always know when you go in and they do the security questions. And they're like, that. No, I tie a bit of banter with the staff, you know, they go like, Pack your bag yourself, say, say that, no. <laughs> so what I did is I got my, uh, like the butler first of all, the butler of the night off, and I got my name with the Palestinian one. <laughs> James, I actually got a Palestinian name. I went down his house a couple of months ago for a birthday party. It was the quickest game of pass the parcel. <laughs> when you go like that. Has this bag been out of your sight at any time? I said, it's been in a lot for 11 months, give us a break. <laughs> and my favourite was, she said, could somebody put something in your bag without you knowing? I said, how would I know? <laughs> I know, because it, yeah, we go with EasyJet, EasyJet's great. Now, you know you're on a bad airline, don't you, when the in-flight magazine's the big issue. Now, <laughs> And all the staff wear the same perfume, they all wear that silly bang, all the staff wear the same perfume. But there's a true fact into what he's just, he's just the only airline in the world that never has and never will be hijacked. Do you know why? Because you try telling 150 Scouse girls they're not going to Malaga. <laughs> It's great, it's the only job in the world, except for this week, it's only customers to F off, right? It's one of those. But this girl, she gave me a little boarding pass, and she went like, if you see any suspicious, let us know. <laughs> so we're walking off, honest to God, I come running back ten minutes later, and went, oh! Dickhead! Four pound a pint! <laughs> so someone's on the rob in there. The flight was only a pound. <laughs> When we were going to Kenny, laugh with them, not that's the last thing. We had to fill a customs form in when we were going to America just before we landed. And this customs form, honest to God, said, Are you attempting to bring any form of livestock into the United States? <laughs> so eight hours ago, you confiscated my best lakes Africa and my water, but somehow you think I've smuggled a cow and a chicken. <laughs> 